Okay. Hi, teachers. I'm beginning to discuss about uh, logarithm or an exponential function of equations, translating or converting exponential equations into logarithmic uh, form. Okay? So, so let's say you have a raised to x. This is an exponential equation. a raised to x is equal to b. This is translated to logarithm of b to the base of a. Look at this. Logarithm of b to the base of a is equal to x. Okay? Like that. Now, if we have like 3 raised to 4 is equal to 81, translate that into, or convert that into logarithmic form, we have log 81 to the base of 3. Uh, log 81 to the base of 3 is 4, okay? Because logarithm is always the same as the exponent, okay? Next one, 7 raised to 2 is equal to 49. That is equal to log 49, or logarithm 49, to the base of 7 is equal to 2, okay? Now, what if you're given with this logarithm of 1,000? How much is the value? What is the value of this? Now, if you can see uh, any logarithmic form without any base here, that's understood to, to be the base of 10, okay? Uh, actually, that's in the calculator. Now, if we have like logarithm of like this uh, with other bases, you cannot use calculator with that, okay? Because uh, the cal our, our calculators are just using the base of 10. Okay, anyway, so this one is equal to log 1000 to the base of 10, and that is equal to x. We don't know how much is the value of this. So 10 raised to x is equal to 1,000, and 1,000 to the base of 10 is how much? That is 10 raised to x is equal to 10 raised to 3, because it's 10 times 10 times 10, that's 1,000. Now since now they have the same basis, we can, have, we can say that x is equal to 3, okay? There you go. Now the value of logarithm of 10, uh, 1,000, to the base of 10, that is equal to 3. Okay? Bye-bye. Um, I'll begin to show you on how to solve exponential equations. Like, for example, number 1. Um, 2 raised to y is equal to 64. Now, how can we solve or how can we get the value of y? Now, we're going to... Actually, our, our aim is to make the same basis for this uh, exponential equations. Like... 2 raised to y is equal to 64. Now, 64 to the base of 2 is how much? We can say that uh, 2 raised to y is equal to 64 is actually 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that is 2 raised to 6, okay? Now, our, our aim was to, uh, our aim is to make the same basis. Look at that. We have now the same basis with our 2s. And on both sides, so we have there, we can just equate the exponents, y is equal to 6, okay? There you go. Next one. If we have like number 2, 3, raised to 2y minus 5 is equal to four, uh, 3, 4y raised to 4y plus 2. Now, we, they are now in the same basis, which are 3. So, we can say that 2y minus 5 is equal to 4y plus 2. Now, transpose this one, we have negative 2y, because 2y minus 4y, this becomes negative 4y, so that's negative 2y is equal to 2, transpose 5, negative 5 in the other side, that becomes 5, or just, shall I say, 7. Okay, there you go, it's negative 2, and then negative 2 divided, so y is equal to negative 7 over 2, that's the value of y, okay? There you go, next, number 3. Number 3, we have there... 10 raised to 2y is equal to 0 0.1. Now, how much is 0 0.1 to the base of 10? We can say that 10 raised to 2y is equal to 0 0.1. That means 1 all over 10, right? And take note that a, 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 a fraction like this one, 1 over 10, that means this uh, 10 has a negative exponent. So we have there 10, 2y is equal to 10, negative 1, because this understood one here. Now, we're, if you're going to... Uh, <coughs> Express this in this form. This must be negative, okay? As uh, the same as uh, what's this? I discussed before about the, the the loss of exponents. It's it's there. The negative exponents. Since they are now in the same basis, so that means two y is equal to negative one divided by two divided by two. So y is equal to negative one half. There you go. Next one, number four. Uh, we have two raised to y again is equal to one fourth. Now, 4 to the base of 2, we can say that 2y is equal to 1 all over 2 squared. Now, this one is a fraction form, so we can say that 2y is equal to 2 then negative 2. Now, they're now in the same basis, so y is equal to negative 2, right? Okay, next. Number 5. 2 over 3 raised to y is equal to 9 over 4. 
And you can, as you can see, 9 and 4 are just square of, uh, what's this? Uh, 3 over 2, right? So we can say 2 thirds raised to y is equal to 3 squared over 2 squared. Now, in this case, we can just take the, the reciprocal to make a negative exponent. So we have there like 2 over 3 y is equal to uh, 2 negative 2 over 3 negative 2. Okay? Why why we take the reciprocal? It is because uh, this one is in 2 thirds and this one is must also be in 2 thirds. Now, um, why is change this a negative? As you can see earlier that uh, when, when you take the reciprocal of a given uh, fraction, they must always take negative exponents. Okay? So since this one, the common exponent is negative 2, you can take it, that one out. So we have 2 thirds y, a raised to y is equal to 2 thirds and then raised to negative 2. Now, the same basis, so y is equal to negative 2. Okay? There you go. Next one, number 6. Uh, 3 raised to 2y squared. Okay, so that's 2y squared. 3 raised to 2y squared plus 5y minus 3 is equal to 1. Now, this one is 1 and 3. How can we make this one the same base? Anyway, uh, anyway as you can remember, I discussed before, like any number raised to 0 that is always equal to 1. Now, th since the, the base is 3, we can make this one to the base of 3. So we can say like 2y squared plus 5y minus 3. Uh, is equal to 3 raised to 0, right? There we go. Next one. Since this, they're not in the same basis, we have 2y squared plus 5y minus 3 is equal to 0. Factor this one out. That's 2y and then minus 1 and then y plus 3, okay? Those are the factors. Equate them each into 0. So here we have y is equal to negative 3, transposing that. And the other y would be 2y minus 1 is equal to 0, so 2y is equal to 1, and divided by 2 divided by 2, y is equal to 1 half. So there are two values of y here since the exponent of y is 2. Okay, there you go. The values of y could be 3 and 1 half. Negative 3 pala, this one, I'm sorry. Okay, there you go.